Hello, welcome to week two of To Be a Christian. Our second question. What is the gospel? The gospel is the good news that God loves the world and offers salvation from sin through his son, Jesus Christ. Last week, our first question dealt with nothing but bad news. We talked about how sin has damaged every aspect of our lives. Even creation itself, the planet, the whole of the cosmos, knows decay and a breakdown that it, it was never intended to have. What we think and feel on the inside so damaged. Well, that's all bad news. But the really good news is that through Jesus, there is a way for all of these things not just to be put right, but to be made completely new completely set free from any of that bondage to decay, any of that tendency towards death and suffering. It can all be completely set free in Jesus Christ. That's the good news. We have some Bible readings here and the first is from Psalm 103. If we look at just verse 8 it tells us, the Lord is compassionate and gracious. The Bible wants us to know that when God looks at us in our brokenness, when he sees our sin, he, he doesn't only get angry about the things that we do wrong when we rebel against him. But, but he looks at us like a loving parent does towards their child when they make a mistake or get themselves dirty or whatever it might be, when they have an accident. The Bible tells us that Heavenly Father, he, he loves us. He's profoundly compassionate towards us. And so when he sees these things that we talked about last week, relationships that aren't going well, us lying to people, when he sees that we're feeling inadequate even to speak to him, his heart is compassionate. He wants better for us. He loves us. And so in some of these other Bible passages we have, Isaiah 53, we get a glimpse of people looking forward to the day that Jesus would come. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. Describing the time that Jesus would come and die on the cross. We considered him punished by God. Stricken by him and afflicted. Looking at Jesus we see the agony that he went through on the cross. But the good news is that as we look at that agony we see that what he was doing is that he's putting that suffering that the whole world is under because of sin. He's putting it on himself. John 3 goes on in the third of our four Bible readings today. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. God's desire is that everybody would come through to that place where they would know him and be set free to the ongoing, eternal, perfect life that we can find in Jesus Christ. But even though that offer is there for everyone, it's only for those that receive him that Jesus says the gift of eternal life is then given to. It's a bit like this. Imagine if I was to say to you, I have a gift for you, maybe a watch or something. Well, it's all well and good me saying I offer it to you. But of course, you, you, have to, you have to receive it. Thank you. It's one thing to know that a gift is being offered. It's another thing to accept and receive that gift. 1 Corinthians 15, the last of our four passages this week. Paul writing to the church in Corinth said, By this gospel, the good news, by this gospel you are saved if you hold firmly to the word I preached to you. People will preach all sorts of other Gospels, but the Gospel that the Bible encourages us to hold on to, the only true Gospel, is the one that for all of these ill effects that we discussed last week, Jesus Christ is the only permanent solution. What is the Gospel? The Gospel is the good news that God loves the world and offers salvation from sin through his Son, Jesus Christ.